When I get this call, and my whole day changed. Elm Grove Church Pastor Gerald Thomas had just finished his pastor duties for the day when he got that call about a dock collapsing on Sapello Island. While he tried to figure out just how many people were killed, and if he knew any of them, he also sprung into action, opening the church doors to welcome busload after busload of survivors. That's what we do. We're missionary, and we try to help people who are in need, and it was a time of need. Georgia Department of Natural Resources Captain Chris Hodge says the 911 call came in just before 4 o'clock. The ramp at the ferry dock on Sapello Island had fallen. Once we got on scene, we realized that we had possibly 20 people or more that had, had went into the water because of the uh, collapse of this gangway. Hodge says seven people died. Six were critically injured and another two were flown to a nearby hospital. DNR is sending an engineering team to investigate what caused the collapse, but a spokesperson says no boat hit the gangway. Thomas says at least 400 people were shuttled to the church in what was a busy day at the island for the annual Gullah Geechee Heritage Festival. It was larger than I've seen before, and I've been here 30 years, and I hadn't ever seen it that large. Thomas is still waiting for an official list of victims to see if he knew anyone who was killed. So for now, he has to focus on what he can control, helping survivors. We could spring right into action and do what we were required to do, and that was offer help and hope to the people. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.